Namaste everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have with me once again uh, Maitri Shreshta, a representative from the Maitri Bodh Parivar. Namaste. Namaste. Pooja. Welcome once again and thank you for being with us again. Today we are going to speak about transformation. So mm -hmm. I'd like to start off by asking you, my, um, Maitri Shreshta, uh, you know, we hear a lot about transformation, about uh, shift, about change. But in, in videos posted by the Maitri, uh, the Maitri Bodh Parivar channel or um, anything um, related to Maitri, ba Maitri Bodh Parivar's mission, mm -hmm. um, mention spiritual transformation, not just transformation. So could you please shed some light on this what does spiritual transformation mean yes so um spiritual transformation so if you talk about just transformation transformation can happen you know when when we uh, physical transformation for example which is basically when you work out or you work on your body you eat well then there is a physical transformation which takes place uh, however that transformation if you stop working out or if you stop taking care of your body your body will react to that you know if uh, you may uh, become unhealthy or something like that. So you have to keep kind of working at it to kind of remain this way. Same way there is, uh, you can say at the superficial layer of the mind, the conscious mind, you can try to uh, attain transformation where you read kind of, uh, you know, self-help books or you say affirmations. But again, if you stop practicing it consciously, you know, it works for some time until you're motivated to practice it. But the minute you, you forget, after a while you forget about it, you stop practicing it. And then what happens is then again, the mind goes back into that state. Mm. So the thing is that this transformation, spiritual transformation is irreversible. There is only growth from there and you don't need to do much for mm. spiritual transformation because time is here to support, divinity is there to support the spiritual transformation. So number one, it is effortless. Number two, it is beyond the physical and the layer of the mind. It goes deep within the consciousness, right in and around the soul. This is where transformation takes place. So it is actually like an astral um, surgery, if you may, if you want to call it, you know, it goes right within deep within the layers that we can't work on in the physical body we can't see because for us what we see is usually the only reality this goes beyond beyond our physical body beyond our mental body right within our consciousness where everything that we have collected all mm -hmm. the stuff that we have put in our uh, you know in our bags right from the time we are born till now everything that blocks us so there are both aspects of it there are good things also which we have collected like the good values from our parents you know our culture great memories you know all of these things memories which make us happy these things are also there but along with this there is also stuff which we have collected and put inside yes. which is not so good for us which is not healthy which mm -hmm. you know just stops you from growing because any kind of block whether you like, you know, we always say that it is because of the world outside or because of somebody else, or we usually tend to blame the situation mm -hmm. when we cannot grow forward. But whatever is manifesting in the world outside is coming from something that is there within. Because every situation in your life is to teach you something. So life is meant to move forward. But these blocks which come in or these, these traumas or these past impressions, they uh, on a subconscious level and, and the mind, it just stops you from moving forward. Mm -hmm. So when the core of your being changes, when the transformation happens deep within, it automatically starts manifesting on the layers outside. So then that change, and it happens on a biological level also. Your body is guided what mm -hmm. it needs to do. And you plus you get that inner strength to kind of go forward. So many people have experienced this in bits and pieces, you know, this transformation kind of taking place. But then how do you grow with it? How can you uh, move forward with it? So this is that inner transformation. And this is what Maitreya Dadashriji is here to offer. So yeah, this is inner transformation or spiritual transformation, which mm -hmm. we talk about. 
All right. Thank you for sharing that. And uh, right at the end there, you mentioned Dada Shiji's message, right? Um, this is what he's here to offer. Um, Dada Shiji stresses a lot on the importance of spiritual transformation now. Uh, there are many videos that I have watched personally where he's urging everyone who's watching to grow, to, to believe in it and to start um, practicing what uh, he has to share or what he has to offer or teach. Um, what do you have to say about this, about the importance that um, he lays on now, right now, that we need this sp spiritual transformation now? Yeah, yeah. So uh, like you, you know, Pooja, and everybody who uh, is, I would say, uh, you know, internally connected also, and also through books, you know, there is, in, uh, at least in the Hindu culture, we speak about different times, you know, we speak about different yugas or yugas. Mm -hmm. So now what has happened is that there is a shift which is taking place. Mm -hmm. There is a shift in time which is taking place. And this shift in time is basically asking for transformation. So what is happening is that we are entering into a very beautiful era, which is the divine era. And to enter into this divine era, we need to enter it becoming by becoming divine beings. Now, by calling ourselves divine beings, I'm not saying that, you know, you need to be enlightened or completely awakened. You simply need to be a good human being. Right. You need to let go of things like hate or, you know, uh, the, the things where humanity, the selfishness is something mm. that we need to let go because the divine era is going to have all the divine qualities. So mm. if we have to enter that time, we need to get aligned with that. So it's as simple as, um, you know, uh, traveling from, uh, let's say in India, if you say traveling from the north, you are in Jammu Kashmir. Yeah. And you say, I want to go to Mumbai. Or let's say you're in Mumbai, where it's hot most of the time. And you say that I want to go to Jammu Kashmir. And you're, you, for your travel, you pack all the clothes which are from Mumbai. So you put, you know, people in Mumbai usually because it's hot, they wear t-shirts and jeans or shorts and things like mm. that and hats and sunglasses. So you say, <laughs> okay, I'm going to go to Jammu Kashmir and I'm going to carry all of this. So when you open your bag in Jammu Kashmir to wear the same clothes, you're going to freeze because... You, you, you know, you haven't carried things in your bag which are going to be suitable for that region. Mm. In the same way, we are traveling to a different time. We are traveling mm. to a different era. We are traveling to the divine era. Mm. So everything that we have collected in our bags up until now, which is mostly around selfishness, we yes. need to somewhere let go of that. We need mm. to remove that out. We need to repack our bags put things inside which are going to which is like love the most important thing you want to put one ingredient in there or oh, sorry one thing you want to pack in your bag you pack love in it that's more than sufficient and then it becomes easy for us to transition to that particular time so dada shri ji is here for this transformation and that is why he says that let, follow whatever path you want but let that path lead you to transformation to that inner transformation because it is the need of the current time and earlier you know back in the day sages and saints would meditate for years and years and years together to attain you know those kind of enlightened states mm. and you know those higher states today you do a little small meditation and you will experience really that bliss or that inner peace like you said when you did maitri sambhotyan the first time you did it you felt really nice about it. You really, really enjoyed Maitri Sambodhyan. And that is because time is lucrative. Time is supporting you. You don't need mm. to meditate for so many, so many years now to experience that. It will come easily to you. Mm -hmm. And so that is why Dada Shriji is here. He's talking about transformation because that is the need of the hour. Everything that we see around us happening today everything if you open you know your news any kind of news channel or newspaper there are multiple and on, on on a large scale there are multiple and random things happening in the world covid itself covid 19 itself is you know something that has shaken the world together mm. at one point it has also got the world together but it is a wake-up call yes that you need to transform you need to change your ways enough mm. enough of leading the same life 
you need to have respect for mother nature you need to change the way you are you need to change your inner being and you will sail through you know you will sail through uh, the phase then so that's his message and that's why right now for this current time mm -hmm. yeah that's a very very powerful message and there is no denying the fact that the whole world everyone um has experienced uh this shift or change at a much larger scale especially uh, this last year or year and a half um so like you said it, it it's so true that you know we we all need to evolve out of that box that we've been living in or have been taught to live in or just gotten used to living in and um, look at the bigger picture and be receptive to what all the signs that are there you know when when you mention mother earth or whatever has been happening there are multiple signs out there telling us that this is time to let go of limiting beliefs or old patterns old patterns you know things that have been done years after year after year and that have not been the right way of doing things and all of that is coming out slowly i have a feeling you know and, and like you said this time is very very conducive to this positive change to yes. to lead us it's like you know guiding us so those who um accept it and you know accept that okay this is how it is how can i be more in harmony with what is happening around um will will be guided uh, further so that that's lovely thank you for um sharing that and now um this brings me to the last question about transformation um on an individual level if someone is out there asking okay you've spoken about the world the change the shift going on what does it do for me and what is what is it that can help me embrace this first of all like i said what does it do for me what is it what is in it for me and then how do i embrace it how do i do this how can i make it easier for myself to embrace it right so um Pooja, if I speak about transformation on an individual level, you yeah. know, it is something which uh, I can speak from a personal experience because mm -hmm. everybody, so there is a very big shift which has happened in each and every one of us. There yes. are changes from within which have happened for each and every one of us. Like I think I said in the last uh, uh, episode that we did that, you know, I have experienced that shift. I have experienced that change. And it is not just about habits or lifestyle. That yes. is definitely a part of it. But there is something deep within which is just awakened, mm. just awakened to a larger reality. So in different ways, I have experienced transformation and many others have. So for me personally, I'll tell you, I have, I've become lighter about things, you know, it's just this feeling, this light feeling about everything. Nothing really goes deep within, you know, nothing like is something, let's say a bad incident that happens. It does not affect me as deeply as it used to earlier. Mm. And that is because my perception has changed. There is an understanding about situations, even though something may, may bother me, there is, you know, at that time, maybe I'm, you know, saying that, oh, no, this is something which is bothering me. I'm hurt about this and this, but immediately the perspective shifts to the other also. What about the other? What about they, what, what they are going through? You know, how do I resolve this, which is there within me and which is there in front? So the shift goes from me to you. And there is a shift from self to selfless also. So I'm not saying that, you know, I've, I've, Dada Shriji is 100% and more selfless. My aspiration is to become like him. My aspiration is to become as absolutely selfless as he is. Because for him, he's gone on a public platform. And that's, that's what I love about Dada Shriji, you know, the simplicity of it. He has gone on a public platform and he has shared that I am just a servant of humanity. And these are the words that he's used. So that is that true selfless service that I'm here to serve you. And that is happening to me, at least in bits and pieces, I can say my focus has shifted from me to all. I have become from just completely being selfish 
to trying to be selfless or more self uh, less selfish than what i was before um my relationships have changed mm. there has been a tremendous change in majority of my relationships with my spouse my daughter the way i'm raising her it is a different it's a it's a very different it's a it's still relaxed there is freedom but it's still more conscious you know it's a conscious mm. upbringing my role as a mother my role as a wife while doing my duties i am a spiritual being and transformation is this growth that if you grow you know that is the best thing if you focus on your own growth this is one um seva or this is one selfless service actually because if you spiritually walk forward it automatically affects the people around you yeah. so with transformation you will see that slowly slowly all the blocks that were there like i'll share one very big block for me i have never been a public speaker before i met dadashri ji in school i was i would be nervous to speak to people i have never spoken at public gatherings i used to be uh, with my friends i was different but if you take me to address people or to speak even or to uh, my i remember an incident where i was really young and my father asked me to sing at my kaka's uh, <laughs> wedding and i said i cannot i will not go in front of these people i you know there was this this thing where i couldn't speak to mm. people Mm-hmm. and today i it's it's i do this every day it's as as a conductor of maitripur parivar i am speaking to um 30 40 50 100 200 people on a day to day basis it's like the things so for me what this what has happened inside if i have to put it in simple words is those fears mm. those traumas those past memories which were holding me back all of that has been erased and i am free i'm lighter i'm moving forward you know it's there's there's some kind of a peace inside like i'll share another incident with you during covid times so last year um, we had covid my husband my daughter and i but that entire time and my husband was i mean he was the one who was hit pretty badly and then it was me but then when my daughter got it that was what kind of shook us up you know it was that was a little um uh, that moment i felt that you know there is a little worry that struck mm. me but it was just for that moment mm. after that we moved we moved off it and my daughter was fine i was fine my husband was fine so even though we were and that was the time where covid had just come people didn't know much about it we mm. were affected by it all three of us but it did not enter we did not enter a space of fear mm. we did not we were not frantic we were absolutely calm and you know this is when i talk about this the, like consciously uh, upbringing or just what you do is automatically rubbed off on the daughter so my daughter told me she was like because we had to my daughter and i had to shift to my in-laws house and uh, my daughter told me she said mama look we are so lucky that during covid times we have a holiday oh. we have you have nothing to do i have no homework to do and we are on a holiday so this mm. is that change and it's yes. not like problems are not there it's not like completely problems are not there if in the human form there will be pain yes you will experience problems life will go on you will go through these ups and downs but yes. it will not have the same kind of impact on you the way it used to you know you will see it as a challenge and you will overcome it immediately and this mm-hmm. is just a little bit about transformation there is so much more and there's so much you know on a spiritual level you experience on a physical level on an emotional level mental level mm-hmm. you experience transformation everywhere and um, you become a better person so there is somebody who attends our sessions and she says that i attend your sessions because it gives me a spiritual facial so <laughs> because my skin glows after it so whatever you are looking for very honestly whatever you are looking to change in your life transformation can do that for you yes yes um that that's so true it's like i love the word that you use perception right um yeah. two people could be in the same situation but their one is reacting to it um with yeah. fear maybe and the other one is responding from that inner source of strength and yeah. it's like uh, i think w- uh, we spoke about this in the previous episode where we where no in this episode when you spoke about you know physical transformation when we're working out okay we're 
working on our muscles or joints or whatever. But this is also like a muscle we need to work on, you know, that yeah. inner inner work. It's, you know, you need to eat every day so that your body gets its nutrients, etc. But that inner work um, that we do is what leads to this transformation and to this shift in perception and the way we are um, living our day-to-day -day life and how we are responding to each situation. And that does make a huge difference, I think, in, in the smallest situations. Um, yeah, it could be a very small situation, but the way we respond to it, the way we tend to see it uh, really, really determines how we're going to go forward. Uh, so, yeah, thank you very much for sharing so much about transformation. It's definitely something we all need. Um, and uh, hopefully this will inspire um, people who watch this to, to uh, embrace change, to embrace, I, yes. Yeah, and like you said, you know, Pooja, I think I missed on the, the second half of the question about how do you begin your journey on trans uh, yes. for transformation? So Dadashriji says, to put it very simply, just say yes to transformation. So for whoever, for your friends, family, for my friends, family, and for the world who is watching this, uh, just say yes to transformation wherever you are right now. It's a message you send out to the universe and then automatically, uh, you know, uh, it'll come to you. It'll automatically reach you. And if you want to attend any, any of these sessions of Dadashriji, of Maitri Bodh Parivar, or you know, any of these sessions, you can log on to the website and you can start your journey from there if you know, just follow your heart. So, yeah. Yes, uh, definitely. I'll put uh, the details of the website in the description box uh, below as well. So please, viewer, viewers, feel free to visit the website. If you have any questions, um, don't hesitate to reach out. And uh, we're here to help. We're here to share and to guide. Um, so there it is. That was about transformation. Maitre Shreshta, thank you very, very much for your time and for sharing uh, all that you shared about transformation transformation. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, everyone, for watching.